What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you another Destiny 2 Forsaken new video and today I'm going to cover all the news we have had over the weekend, including some great new information and the upcoming event at the end of the month which I cannot wait for. But before we get into that people, every single month I'm giving away a fully customizable controller for either Xbox or Playstation sent anywhere in the world. To be with a chance of winning, simply drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below and enter the giveaway via the Gleam link linked at the top of the video description fast simple and legit good luck everybody okay so firstly the new four day cycle if you haven't heard along with the all new director which will completely change where the crucible and vanguard nodes will have prominent location nodes at the bottom of the screen and will be joined by a new node for the new gambit game mode Bungie stated within their Game Informer article, the Crucible Vanguard and Gambit game modes along with Flashpoint, all of these activities will refresh every 4 days instead of on the weekly cycle we are used to. The raid will remain on a weekly cycle though. Also the addition of daily heroics will return. Also strikes will be available for you to do whenever you want, as in like Destiny 1, strikes will have their own nodes on said planets which you can just go to, select and play any of them at any time you want, and it's about damn time people it really is. So that's interesting to know. The 4 day cycle though really sounds cool but I wonder why they've changed it, there's got to be some reason behind it people, I wonder what that is. Ok so let's move on and onto the 8 Barons of the Forsaken. Now a quick summary, Kay dies at the hands of Aldrin, but he had help from these 8 Barons. Destiny 2 4 Seconds campaign will see you hunt down these Barons one by one before you get to take on Aldrin. These are the 8 Barons. The Fanatic, the Machinist, the Mindbender, the Trickster, the Hangman, the Mad Bomber, the Rifleman, and the Rider. Now all details of these 8 Barons can be found linked within the video description if you do want to learn more about them. But these are the 8 Barons you will hunt down on September 4th which I cannot wait for. Moving on and Game Informer interviewed Steve Cotton and Scott Taylor in a rapid fire 130 question shootout and it was pretty damn cool. For the most part the questions were irrelevant but there were a few questions answered worth mentioning and to start they confirmed that at least 10 to 15 new exotics were becoming with the Forsaken DLC. Now we've seen a few but there are many left as surprises, which I cannot wait to be surprised to be honest. They were also asked, are there going to be set bonuses for armour? Bungie replied with, there will be badges for collecting armour sets. That is very interesting indeed, cannot wait to learn more about that. They confirm new raid layers will come after the Forsaken DLC and these new raid layers will no doubt be a part of the Penumbra and the Black Armory expansions. Something else really interesting is when they are asked if they are ever going to create a new weapon rarity, what colour would it be? They state black, which sounds cool. And they also mention as well new weekly milestones will be added for us to complete. Epic. Something else interesting is when they are asked why is Kid 6 scared of Seven? Their answers are pretty interesting. They reply with, he isn't afraid of Seven. He hasn't met Seven. There isn't a Seven. But the way they look at each other, if you've seen the interview, you will get where I'm coming from, people. It's kind of like they're trying to hide something away here. What do you think? Let me know down below. Then they asked about a 7 or 8 or 9 minute escalation protocol. The response, again, is really interesting. It's just the way they look at each other and reply. I mean, it just seems to me like they're trying to hide something. They also mentioned Galahorn will not return, that is a damn shame, I think it would really fit in right now. Now the full interview can be found linked within the video description if you do want to check it out, it's pretty fun, I recommend you do so. Ok so we're going to move on to the Moments of Triumph. Ok so as of now, Moments of Triumph for Destiny 2 are now available on Bungie.net. From now through to August 28th 2018, players are invited to complete various in-game objectives to earn progress towards Triumph points which will unlock unique rewards. What's available today is just a taste of what's to come with the Solstice of Heroes event, which will expand the list of triumphs and rewards that players may earn. The complete list of triumphs will become available in game starting on July 31st, 2018. Some of the hardcore veterans among you may have already done everything there is to do thus far, but some of you might have some progress to make in the next few weeks. Starting right now, Moments of Triumph for Destiny 2 are available on Bungie.net. Like the last Moments of Triumph here, there's also a t-shirt for you to earn, where you will have to pay for it, but at the moment it's like £7 million within the Bungie store. But obviously doing a certain set challenge or, as they stay here, earn points, 
you receive a code to buy it no man. I do believe all proceeds go to charity, so it's a decent cause, it really is. Here is what Bungie states. The Solstice of Heroes Moments of Triumph t-shirt redemption page is now live, but you won't be able to secure your code until Solstice of Heroes begins on July 31st, 2018. After you complete enough triumphs in Destiny 2 to reach a score of 250, you can then go to the Moments of Triumph page on Bungie.net to retrieve the code, which you will need to purchase your customizable t-shirt. What we see here though ain't the only rewards, as we can see a ghost shell, a emblem, a sparrow. There are more rewards for us to earn within the Solstice of Heroes. Bungie State will have more details on what's to come just before the event drops. But we do get a glimpse at three helmets, which no doubt confirms armors too. So there will be a possibility of new weapons also, but we will see people. Now the triumphs you have to complete, to be honest, most will have already done what's mentioned here, but hopefully there are some more difficult ones where we who play the game on a regular basis have something to chase for certain activities or challenges done, or to be done you will receive points, clock up a certain number of points and earn rewards. We can see the name of the triumphs and the requirements and the points for doing them. So let's read through them. Brunger of Light, finish the Red War campaign. You earn 10 points for this. The hero we deserve. Complete any 25 public events on heroic difficulty during the Associate of Heroes, 10 points. I will smash you, defeat 100 crucible opponents, 15 points. Check out my arsenal, obtain 25 exotic weapons and armor, 15 points. Treasure hunter, collect all region chests, 10 points. Adventurous, complete 20 unique adventures, 20 points. The very best, reach vanguard rank 50. That's something I haven't done yet. That's, you get 20 points for that. Become legend, reach legend in the crucible valor ranking, you get 20 points for that. The emperor, defeat Callus in the leviathan raid, 20 points for that. Follower of Osiris, complete the Curse of Osiris campaign, 10 points for that. Show me the way, obtain Sigiru's exotic goal shot, 20 points for that. Awaken the Warm Mind, complete the Warm Mind campaign, 10 points for that. Fleeting Memories, collect all 45 latent memory fragments which are all over Mars, 15 points for that. I've actually put a tutorial on these which I will link within the video description as well if you do want to go through and get every single one if you've missed them. Hive Extermination. Complete Tier 7 in Escalation Protocol. 20 points for that. Prove your worth. Complete Eater of Worlds and Spire of Stars Arrayed Layers. 20 points for that. And we can see we've got 5 of Redacted as well. So I guess we'll find out what they may be sooner or later. Now rewards we know so far. 125 points gets you the right choice goal shot. 250 points gets you the t-shirt discount code, 300 points gets you the sparrow, and 400 points gets you an emblem. But like I said people, there are more rewards for us to obtain. We just have to wait and see uh, what's needed to earn that epic loot, and what that loot actually will be. So we will see people, we will see. Now all the info you will need on the moments of triumph, including links to check out what you've done and what you still need to do, will be found linked within the video description. So check them out if you do so need to. But guys, that is the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, it really does help me out. If any new news drops, I will be sure to have you covered here on my channel. But thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully people, I will see you on that next one. Always in the